Hi, Storytime lovers. Today, I would like to introduce you to debut author Alex Harrison, who has just released I Feel Angry, a story designed for preschool children on how to cope with your emotions. There are many, many books out there that deal with the topic of frustration and anger, and I have read a few to you on this channel. But what drew me in particular to this picture book is that it offers children actual solutions. For instance, by helping them create their own vocabulary of emotions, or by giving them three very smart self-regulation techniques. So, if you are a child or a parent and you want to know what these techniques are, then listen on. I have so much fun just running around and swinging and sliding at the playground. My dad and I are as happy as can be. We run through the grass to climb up a tree. I'm nearing the top when I hear Dad say, Come on down, Max. That's enough for today. We have to head home. It's dinner time. We'll come back next Sunday or some other time. I feel my teeth clench. My heart starts to race. I am not ready to leave this great place. My dad buckles me in as I'm kicking my feet. He reaches for a toy from behind the back seat. He tells me to take a slow, deep breath in and blow it out slowly to make the wheel spin. I do what he says. Then my dad says to me, It seems like that's working. Don't you agree? It's Monday morning, a school day. Hooray! I pick out my pants, shirt and shoes for the day. I put my clothes on like all big boys do, but I have some trouble putting on my shoe. I try and I try, but I can't get it right. I can tie my own shoe, but I can't get it tight. My dad tries to help, but I push him away. I don't think it's a very good start to my day. My hands feel sweaty, my face hot and mouth dry. I'm getting so angry, I feel I might cry. My dad reminds me I should draw to relax. He says, sit for five minutes before we leave, Max. I sit for a while and draw a picture or two. Then my dad comes over to put on my shoe. Once both shoes are on, I say to my dad, I'm sorry I hit you. Does that make me bad? You're not bad, Max, but it's important to take some time to cool down in a nice, quiet place. You could be angry or sad, or happy or blue. It won't matter to me. I'll always love you. Later at school, my teacher, Miss Dove, says, It's time now for something I know you all love. She pulls out the bubbles, my favorite game, and I partner up with my good friend, James. James takes his turn first. He has so much fun. It's hard to be patient and wait till he's done. What I see next makes me yell at my friend. James spills all the bubbles, so the game has to end. I'm angry and shouting and stomping my feet. So my teacher, Miss Dove, sends me back to my seat. She tells me to focus and count backwards from ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I feel like it's helping, so I do it again. Later, I tell my dad what happened today. He kneels down and hugs me and says, That's okay. I think you know now the right things to do when you start to feel angry. Here are a few. Count backwards slowly to one from ten. Breathe slowly and deeply out and then in. Take some quiet time to paint or to draw. You could read a book or do a jigsaw. I know you are working as hard as you can. The next time you get upset, you'll have a good plan. 
Thank you so much for listening. But before we part, let's make sure you have learned the three self-regulation techniques with a little recap. 1. Counting backwards from 10. 2. Breathing in and out slowly. 3. Drawing or looking at a book. Let me know how this works for you. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description box below as Alex Harrison is independently published and is just starting as an author. Take care and see you soon.